Hello from Mobile World Congress. It's my last day here and I couldn't live without talking about sustainability. So I am on the Qualcomm stand and I have Angela Baker with me, yeah. who is the Chief Sustainability Officer at Qualcomm. And I was really surprised that sustainability was not a great part of the conversation, but AI was. What is your feeling about sustainability at the show? Yeah, definitely AI is everywhere. It's pretty <laughs> much at everyone's booth. I think Folks are talking a lot about AI in the terms of sustainability, creating operational efficiencies, running on device to be more um, energy efficient than it would be in the cloud, those types of things. But definitely AI is front and center at this show, for sure. Well, you mentioned AI running on device, and obviously that is everything that Qualcomm is about. And we've seen a lot of uh, talk about smartphones and AI smartphones in particular. What are some of the advantages aside from the sustainability side that get you very excited about AI on device? I think it's being able to sort of leverage all of the things that your device already knows about you to have that content created that is really personalized to you. I think, you know, our CEO talks a lot about it, things like digital assistance or being able to pull from your previous information, your calendar, your email, and making all that, lo taking all that localized content that's already on your device and leveraging it to give you more um, personalized results. AI for sustainability. Are we looking at mainly focusing on data and so helping with some of the regulation requirements that are coming in? Are we re looking at optimizing uh, processes and looking at the supply chain? What gets you more excited about AI actually working for sustainability? Yeah, I think there's going to be so many applications. I think some of the ones that you mentioned, you could think about optimizing the smart grid, making sure that, or optimizing the grid rather, making sure that the loads are, you know, it's, it's being resilient and working for loads when it's needed. You could look at shipping in a large organization on the manufacturing floor, really operationalizing all of these processes to make them run much more efficiently and not having to be used when they, things don't need to be used. But then when things do have to be used, they're you know used in a way that is run in a very efficient manner. So hopefully AI will help companies make smarter decisions that will lead to like the use of less resources uh, and other things like that. Thank you very much for the time. Thank you so much.